I also had the opportunity to meet Donnie Deutsch from Deutsch Worldwide, which is a huge marketing firm. Donnie Deutsch is a, you know, world reclaimed like marketing genius. He asked me to come speak at his Deutsch Commons, which is like a TED Talks, to all 300 of his employees. <laughs> like, what am I going to say to these people that like went to college, graduated with marketing degrees, do this for a living? What can I teach these people that they don't know already? Like, this is a kid that didn't even graduate high school. Going back to me not feeling like I'm worthy or I'm valuable or the value that I can, you know, add to people's lives. I'm, I'm sitting there preparing. I'm putting together like, you know, slides and what I'm going to talk about, you know, how to strategic partnerships and how to integrate music into marketing and in a cool way and how to put brands together with, I'm think, trying to put all this and I get there and I'm like, about to shit my pants because all these people are sitting there waiting for me to come out. It's funny, I could perform in front of 20,000 people and be fine. But in front of 20 people, <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, which is why, by the way, another talent I have is fucking a comedian. I write the, the dopest fucking comedy, but I could never stand up and do it. I just can't do it. So I go up there and I talk, and I start to talk about, here's why I think marketing is going. Here's where I think it should be going. How? And then as I'm talking and I start getting into my, you know Slumdog Millionaire? You know how like he knew the answers because of life? No school could ever fucking teach me what I know. No fucking class or lesson. None of that shit, dude. I had a fucking shitty life growing up. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not bitter about it. Shit happens. But a lot of things that I went through, I went through the worst shit kids can go through. Most people go to drugs, get alcohol, have fucking psychological issues. I don't, because I internalized it and realized that's life. There's nothing I can do to change it, and it's not my fault. So. All I can do is realize that was a part of my life and realize there are people like that and try to understand what makes people like that and try to help them. So once I started talking like that, the, the two weeks of preparing went out the window. No one even cared about that. They wanted to understand me and how I think and how I got to where I got to in my career based off my life, not any lessons that were taught to me at school. Whenever I have the opportunity to, to, to speak to people that I might be able to help somebody, I try to take advantage of it, and this reminds me of something that I thought was pretty profound that I was able to do. Me and my father, my father left when I was young, I resented him. And for many years, I would blame him for things. Until the day I realized, why did my father leave? What was wrong with him? Why did he not think he had the ability to take care of me? What mentally was going on in his life, or what happened to him prior to me? And that's what people don't do in life because they're so worried about themselves. Me, 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 me. You did this to me, I'm hurting, listen to me, I need help, right? So when I realized the horrible things my father went through, which are worse than what I went through, and my shit sucked, I started feeling empathy for this guy. And then I went to him and let him, under let him know I understand him. And then we became best friends. And now I have a best friend but with a guy who made me as opposed to holding on to, you fucking left, you were an alcoholic, you didn't fucking help mom, da 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 all these other things happened because you left. What do I, how do I win? I'll tell you how I won now. I understood how someone like him thinks, and I have a best friend. That's how you win. Well, I listen to the voice, man. It goes, uh, what's up? I'm, uh, looking for a token. This is Mark Wahlberg. I got your number from Fred Durst. Don't give my number to nobody. Call me back. When I work with an artist, I don't get involved with their lyrics. Like I want, I want to provide the canvas and and the paint, and then let them do what they want. They can do use their own brush strokes. They can do whatever they want. I don't like because I don't like people dictating to me what to create. Oh, you should sample this, or you should sample jazz. Like I don't like that. I just want to create. Seeing somebody in the exact same place as me and watching all hope of ever succeeding fall away and watching that progression completely stop, stop watching that hit that brick wall and just shatter was really motivating and eye-opening and i look i look at this i'm like this is what i think this is i look over to the crowd and i see this guy in the crowd like so i'm like oh this is ecstasy what the fuck he was just making it rain x pills He's like for you for you